Hey guys, I'm Action Jacqueline and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you feel amazing from the inside out. I'm so excited for this video because I have been having so many requests for it and I'm finally doing it. So today you are going to learn how to use your arms like a ballerina and it is actually very challenging but you're going to learn so much about your body, body placement, how to activate the correct muscles to move your arms really gracefully like a ballerina. It's going to be much more of a workout than you realize and it's going to feel really good, perfect for toning and sculpting plus really stretching and improving your posture. So let's get right into it. Okay, so with ballerina arms, I'm just gonna demo it here first. Ballerina arms, what makes them so special is that it always looks like they're moving through water, right? Or something really thick like honey or peanut butter. So there's this resistance that's created from within, right? You're not just going like this. They're not just kind of flailing their arms around, right? It's very intentional. They always look like they're pushing something out or they're floating and pushing up, right? It's not just like a straight push or a lift. You actually feel like you're pushing something. So that resistance is actually created from within. Now let's take a little tour around the body, okay? So on your back, you have your scapulas here. So the scapulas are gonna take, uh, play a really big role. Those are the bones that look like angel wings on the back. Then you have your muscles here that are your traps. And these muscles lift the shoulders up or elevate the shoulders. And then, they, and then the lats here, the lats and the serratus, which are on the side here, as well as the rhomboids, help to depress the shoulder blades down the back. So for most of all of ballerinas and the ballerina arms, keep the shoulders depressed. So the difference is having the shoulders up here right? You don't normally see ballerinas dancing like this. The shoulders are down and away from the ears like this, creating a lot of space between the ears and the shoulders. So this is why it's really, uh, really, really good for your posture because you're going to learn how to turn all of these muscles on and your back that might not be on because why? Our back is behind us. So we forget about it, out of sight, out of mind. So most all of us have actually a very poor mind-body connection between yourself and the muscles and bones back there. So this is going to help wake all of that up. Okay, so we're going to just begin by warming up the shoulders. Now that we did a little anatomical lesson here in our body, we're going to open up into an external rotation. So I'm standing in a ballerina first position. You don't have to stand like this. You can stand in something that's a little bit more sturdy for you if you'd like for the first time, but I'm gonna stand in a first position. So you're going to externally rotate the shoulders. So the palms are, are not the ones that actually initiate the movement, it's the shoulders. So think of the shoulders moving this, right? The shoulders are actually the ones that are moving the, the hands. That's where the, um, the rolling starts. Good, so you wanna really exaggerate this. Feel like you're actually carving like a big circle with your hand, or there's like a big beach ball, and you're going up and around it. Nice. So you might feel a stretch across here on the clavicle, all these muscles here. You might feel the stretch of the pecs, the, uh, the biceps even, right? Because how do we normally stand? Most of us are standing here, right? The world is leaning forward. So this is going to open up all these muscles that tend to get really tight when you're like this all the time. So you might feel a stretch there. So open this up here. Beautiful. So, and hopefully you also feel uh, the shoulder blades retracting together. So now I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing so you can watch. The shoulder blades are slightly retracting together here. I'm also using my lats to bring the shoulder blades, the scapula, down the body, right? So opening up, nice. So you might feel a little burn in the shoulders and that's okay. We're just warming them up. Okay, so now we're going to open up the arms and let's practice just from this position to lift up nice and slow all the way up towards the top. So when you're up here, the elbows are not forward like this, right? This would be the elbows forward. So what's happening here is the shoulders are actually starting to just 
um, kind of close in on each other. So you want to actually keep the elbows away from each other. Like they're, they're magnets, right? Like the, they're positive and positive magnets. They don't, they don't attract towards each other. So they're away from each other. So it creates this nice frame around you. So you want to have this nice openness, this big frame around you without letting the shoulders come along the right. Remember, we're depressing the shoulders down the back. Beautiful. Without this, right? This has to stay closed as well. So a lot of mind-body connection here. I really encourage you to actually put your hands on your own body so you can feel. That's going to help you proprioceptive your own body, help you understand where your body is in space. Sometimes we don't have that connection and when you touch it, then it's like, okay, this is where my stomach is, this is where my ribs is, this is my shoulder down, this is my shoulder up. So let's bring those shoulders down. Beautiful, so arms are up overhead. Elbows are wide without sticking the ribs out. Keep the ribs down, shoulders and elbows wide. Beautiful. Now, when you come down, feel like you're actually lifting up before you go down, as opposed to just going down, right? There's a different energy of just here to lifting the whole body up, feeling the spine even elongating, and then opening up nice and slow. Feel like I'm going up first. And I'm trying to reach as far out as I can around me. Now imagine a big beach ball around you and you're trying to scrape the sides of the beach ball. Beautiful, down. Let's do that uh, again, starting here. Lifting up, scrape the outer edges of the beach ball. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Lift up before you go around and all the way down. Good, all right, now we're going to practice lifting the arms up to about halfway right here. So these are our, our, our port de bras arms. So um, the arms are just going to lift up here. So watch what happens here. The elbows initiate the move first, right? So I lift up from the elbows. So the elbows lift up the move and they float up and then they begin to float down. They float up and float down. Let's do two more like that floating them up, leading with the elbows and down, keeping the shoulders down, right? The elbows and the shoulders aren't going together like this. The shoulders stay down. That's what makes this so challenging. And then the elbows lift. Beautiful. So let's put that all together. We're going to lift up with the elbows. Then you're going to continue lifting all the way up. Your shoulders are still in, um, in this depression here, but you're keeping the elbows nice and wide. Beautiful. Lift up and then begin to slowly, slowly, slowly lower down. Nice. So if you're wondering about the internal and external rotation, the arms really are in internal rotation. And then as you come up, the arms come into external rotation as they come up over the head. But then what's kind of tricky is then here, you have to open up the elbow just a little bit, which means that it actually starts to come a little bit into this internal rotation. So yes, it's a little complicated. And if all of that rotation is just too much for you, then just practice the feeling of it. Practice the feeling of pushing something away. Reach it long, keep the shoulders down, and then come all the way up. And then reach up, feel that big beach ball around you, scrape the sides of it slowly. Feel like you're pressing something down here to engage the lats, engage the serratus here. And then again, reach out long. Remember, feel nice and tall and proud here. Very regal type of feeling as you expand. Feel your whole body expanding. Nice. And then up. And then circle it all the way around. Nice. Let's take it now forward. So we're going to lift by the elbows, right? So you don't go like this. Here. Lift the elbows up first. Create that nice elegant line all the way up, 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 up. Frame the face. So you're framing your beautiful face. Lift up and float down nice and slow. One more time, just like that. This is the really beautiful part, right? You're lifting with the elbows and it's this nice curve that happens here. It's one long line. So if a marble started here, it could just roll all the way down from your shoulder to your thumb, or actually to like your first finger and middle finger. Beautiful, lift up. And then the fingers are really soft, really, really soft. My teacher always said no hamburger fingers. <laughs> so really soft fingers and circle around. 
do that one more time all the way up and all the way around. All right, that is everything for your ballerina arms. I hope you enjoyed that and you learned something about your body. You learned how to control it better, right? You're gonna feel very um, contained but also very regal in your body. So let me know how you liked it, comment below. And if you want me to make more videos like this about ballerina arms, definitely, definitely comment and let me know. And subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's what really helps me to be able to create more videos like this for you. All right, I can't wait to hear how you like it and I will be chatting with you in the comments below. Bye.